I'd like to welcome everyone to WeLoveMetal.com. I am honored to be on the line with Wolf Hoffman of Accept. We uh, are very pleased to have a true legend on the line. How are you tonight, Wolf? I'm doing excellent, and I love metal as well. <laughs> That's excellent. I appreciate that, sir. Uh, your new album, your second foray into the solo world with uh, Headbanger Symphony, is dropping July 1st on Nuclear Blast. Um, the metal scene changes a lot constantly. Is it, is it a little scary putting something so different out there? Not really. I mean, I've been doing it long enough. Uh, nothing scares me much anymore, to be honest. And <laughs> this classical project is sort of a labor of love for me that I've always enjoyed doing and making. And, uh, you know, so it's, like I said, this is a very personal project of mine, and I'm glad it, it's finally out. Yeah, it's something um, listening to I, that actually leads right into what I wanted to ask you next, which was is it a labor of love or is it, is it musical therapy or is it both? I don't really know what musical therapy is, but uh, it's certainly a labor of a labor of love, man. I've been working on this thing for years and years, um, only because I was always busy with accept and I could never quite finish it. I was always just able to do a little bit of work here and there, so it dragged on over the years. And uh, about six months ago, I finally said to myself, "It's it's now or never. Let me get this thing out of my system." So. Yeah, just being able to actually finish it after all these, these many years of it just had, of it just sitting there half finished, it certainly feels like it's therapy to have it <laughs> have it out it, there. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, um, yeah, just you know, you come from a band obviously with a massive history and catalog, and you know it, it's hard enough for you to probably pick what songs you're gonna play in your set list. How do you possibly go through centuries of classical music? and pick the songs that you feel would go well with electric guitar, with metal elements. How do you, how do you narrow those down? Um, I don't really go through the whole catalog. Nobody can. I mean, <laughs> like you said, the, the field of classical music is so vast. Uh, one could spend years just trying to listen to everything. But um, personally, I mean, quite honestly, I'm just a, sort of an average listener. And if I notice something that, that catches my ear, I make a note of it and come back to it at some later point, and I'll try to work on that. So that's why, in a way, you find many pieces on there that, that are very popular and that other people sometimes have covered already. Um, I didn't really want to go for something totally obscure that nobody's ever heard of, um, you know, and I... And, and at the end of the day, there's only a limited amount of classical music that is actually translatable to metal guitar. I'm just wondering, along those lines, is there, I mean, I'm, I'm not a musician at all. I, I, I'm a fan. And uh, is there a lot more classical elements in metal than maybe like the average listener such as myself would understand? There's some of it. I mean, there's some genres, of course, of metal that are like totally uh, into it, the neoclassical stuff. Uh, and I mean, personally, I've always had an affection for classical music, uh, never a deep knowledge or I've never studied it and never wanted to, but I've always sort of found some elements in there that really uh, inspired me a lot. And, and my playing has always been, had a classical touch to it, even under all the metal noise, there was always melodies and chord changes that are certainly, certainly um, classically influenced weirdly enough and I think there's a lot of that in metal but certainly in, in except yeah is it the type of thing or have you ever thought of flipping the script could you you know do except in a more classical way like take some of those classic songs and make them like almost neoclassical I always said no uh, because I felt like this is so far away from what it initially meant to be because it really except for us and me personally when I grew up it was sort of a rebellious thing to do, you know, heavy metal by definition was something that was supposed to be in your face and rebellious and not really suitable for classical classical treatment. But now that I've made this record, had been a symphony and actually turned out pretty metally, I might change my tune a little bit and maybe one day we'll do something like that where we combine the two worlds even and, and play some accept tunes with an orchestra you never really know i mean we haven't done it yet and it's a long way away if ever but it's certainly something that isn't that i wouldn't rule out that much anymore like i used to you know 
And I think it's something that it, it was really important to me, you know, listening to the album, reviewing to it, that people know that there is a neoclassical genre and you hear a lot of that, but Headbanger Symphony goes above that. This is your guitar style. You can definitely tell it's you integrated with classical. It's different than anything I've ever heard before. And I think it's important that people know that going into it because it's, it's a work of art. You should be very, very proud of this. Wow, thank you very much, man. Very kind, very kind. Yeah, I mean, I put a lot of heart and soul into it, and I tried to stay away on 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 purpose. I didn't really listen to all the other people who do similar things. Uh, if there's, I know there's, I mean, I'm, I'm not the first one to have that idea to sort of, you know, dip into the classical world and, and try to, uh, you know, write songs or uh, actually take original compositions and. and change them around you know it's not a totally new concept but i try to do it in a very personal way um and and i just wanted to wanted it to be the way i wanted to 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 write songs exactly the way that i feel i would have written it if i would have had that awesome original composition that was really my motto when i looked at a tchaikovsky or mozart theme that i you know essentially i went in there and ripped their main theme off and treated it as if it was my idea and said all right what other idea what other guitar riff would have i written if you know it would have been my idea and and metal fans they need to realize that it's classical can seem daunting but you broke that down and it's a lot of songs and a lot of you know, melodies and classic tunes that we know that you've heard even in passing, but there is that mm. metal flair. People need to know this is heavy metal because it truly is. It is, it's rebellious in its own sense, but it, that it goes against the norm of what we consider classical. So that, uh, it, it blew me away. I'll be quite honest with you. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Oh, of really? Wow. But Thank you very much. This album, I mean, it took me to a, a place I never thought I would be. So that's, uh, that's right important on. to get out Right there. on. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. You know, to me, classical music has always had these wonderful moments that are just to die for. But then there's also a lot of moments that are quite boring and and sort of that you have to suffer through. So in my mind, anyhow, you know, really a symphony a lot of times is 20 minutes long and you're really waiting for that one moment. Wow, there it is, doom. But it's only 30 seconds long and then it's the long boring passage of other stuff that you don't really care so much about and i personally wanted to take those 30 seconds and have them again and again and again and and do it condense it all into a three four minute piece that really gets to the point and gets out of the way um so that was my 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 thing there because uh and also if i imagine this stuff being maybe presented by a, on stage with an orchestra and a metal band and a light show and the whole drama of a rock show um, there's a combination of the old and the new, you know, modern packaging, modern sound, and 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 but the the timeless classical melodies of 200 years ago. And, and you can actually, when you're listening to it, and uh, I actually had a question about that. Like, is this mm. something you would consider performing? I know the production would be huge, but I think it'd be so rewarding yeah. for everybody. Yeah, man. Um, you said it right there. Of course, it, it's everybody's dream to do that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just not exactly something that, that, that you can sort of pull off very easily. And uh, But we're definitely working on that right now. We're actually speaking with orchestras. We're trying to get everything sort of lined up for some future dates. And, um, yeah, working on it. Nothing is set in stone yet. It's not all worked out yet. But that would be the ultimate goal, of course, to do live performances with this stuff. Because... You know, I can just you can just picture it when you hear it. I can just see it on stage with you know lights and fog machines and flames and everything. You know. <laughs> yeah, and it's you know I I wanted to bring up obviously it's uh, you and Peter, if I'm correct, are the only original members from except that are still left in the band. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Mm -hmm. um, that is correct. Mm -hmm. If you can think back, I mean, we're talking almost 40 years now. Did yeah. you know your name would be mentioned with things like Legendary and, you know, um, you guys have so much yeah, influence well. on, on modern metal. Did did you have any idea of how big this would get? Hell no, of course not. Nobody did. And I still have a hard time, but people are, I take it with a grain of salt when people call me a legend and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm honored and I love it and I joke about it. And But at the end of sometimes it's amazing back then when we were kids and like we said, we wanted to be 
just little rebels and wanted to do something that was fun and 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 and, and you know different. Uh, nobody could have thought that this was last. This would last that long. I mean, we had the big dream that it might, and we did everything for it. Like we worked really hard for years and years um, to build it up step by step. And but nobody could have anticipated the sort of the staying power um, because back in those days, nobody had a track record of 40 years. That's the weird thing that people sometimes forget. We grew up with this stuff when we when we were teenagers the longest existing bands were maybe in existence i don't know five or ten years maybe 15 the stones or somebody but everybody was sort of young back then <laughs> hard to imagine but there was nobody who was 50 or 60 and a, and a rock or metal player people like that didn't it didn't exist because the whole genre was so young that nobody had an idea that you could actually be over 40 and be a, a, a touring rock musician Everybody thought always, well, one day you have to snap out of it and get a real life or get a job or something, you know. <laughs> and and all of the, I mean, except has been amazing in the fact that you guys have been able to reinvent yourself over the years, obviously. And does it create pressure? Do you feel, you know, wow, we have to be except now? Like we people, you know, people are expecting a certain amount from us and it has to be that every time. Uh, I wouldn't call it pressure, but it's certainly, we're aware of it. Yeah, heck yeah. Right now we're actually in the process of writing new songs for a new album. So Peter and I meet very often and, and we sit here and, and, and go through ideas that we have and we pick out the ones that we think are the ones that sound the most like accept, um, which is, and that's what I think people expect from us and we expect that ourselves because we want it to sound like accept, but the longer you do that, the harder it gets sometimes because Obviously, you can't redo the same thing over and over again, and you can't stay immediately. At the same time, you need to stay true to your course musically and stylistically. So, you know, it's a, it's a you're walking a tightrope there. And well, the, the more albums you, the more albums you make, the harder it gets. I, I know you're a busy man, and I'm I'm running low on time here, but I wanted to get one more in. Do you? Mm -hmm. Is there any end game in sight, or are you just going to go as long as the fans will have you? Uh, I haven't thought that far yet, to be honest. I mean, uh, we had a long break, as a lot of people know, or, you know, we had a long, ten, over 10 year hiatus. So we had plenty of time to recharge our batteries and, and to look left and right of what else there is in life. So we're actually still in the phase of being, you know, really excited about just being back in the in the genre we've made uh, or in, in the music business. We made three albums in five years with Mark Canillo, the new singer, and and you know things couldn't be better right now. So we'll keep charging full force ahead for the next foreseeable future until somebody drops dead or something something else happens. But we aren't there yet, so we don't know. Well, other than the dropping dead part, that's the best news I've heard all day because I think you'll have uh, everybody's <laughs> going to be beating the doors down for everything you do at this point, especially once I hear this headbanger symphony. So, awesome! Thank you much. I can't promise you this much. We won't do a, like a like a, a, a farewell thing, a fake one, anytime soon. You know, like everybody else is doing. We won't. You won't see that from like the last tour maybe sort of probably not kind of thing <laughs> i you know i think the fans appreciate that more than anyone knows at this point so all right very good well i want to thank mr wolf hoffman from accept and with his new solo album we've talked about headbanger symphony you have been a pleasure sir everything i wanted out of your interview i thank you again well thanks bill it was nice chatting with you yeah check out everybody check out the new headbanger symphony album i think you will dig it <laughs>